So hey, what's up everybody? Look, man, I'm in the middle of trying to uh, get another video out for you guys working on the roof of this old car. Our abandoned 1972 Plymouth Fury. Uh, man, that roof is something else. If you guys seen the previous videos, you know what I'm talking about. But uh, anyway, I don't want to spoil it too much, but I am up there working. And uh, unfortunately, a storm caught up with me. Y'all, I was trying so hard to get this done before the storm hit. Uh, as most of you know, my heat in the shop is not working. It's on the fritz right now. And we had good enough temperatures to knock that roof out. But unfortunately, this storm caught up with me and now we don't. So it's about 18 degrees outside. It's just too damn cold to be spraying any kind of bed liner spray or doing any kind of body work or any of that. So I had to hold off on it. And uh, man, it's it's been a few days since I've gotten a video out for you guys. And something came in the mail the other day and I just had to share it with y'all. This is so awesome. I'm gonna show that to you guys in just a minute. I'm gonna save it for last. But look here, man, this is our latest haul. You guys are awesome, man. Y'all just keep sending stuff and it is great, man. I truly do appreciate it. Y'all are helping the channel, you're helping the projects, and some of y'all are sending snacks, man, and that is really cool. So we're waiting on it to warm up just a little bit. I thought maybe we'd open up some of the stuff right quick. Start up here now. I've gone through and I've kind of sliced all these open in an effort to make this go a little faster. That way I'm not using up a bunch of my SD cards. Slicing, slicing boxes open, right? So let's see what we've got here. Uh, this is cool. What is this? Get this thing opened up. Looks like a little light. Light with a headband. That's cool. That means we put this on our head and we'll be able to see what we're doing around here. Let's see. Let's see. There we go. All right. It's working already. Shoot ya. Oh yeah, this thing's awesome, man. Look at that. That is definitely one way to shed light on the situation. Got a note in here. That's cool. I love it when there's a, a note that tells me who this stuff came from. A guy can never have enough light. That is definitely true. I like your content. You seem like a real down-to-earth guy. Have a great 2022 from Ethan. Dude, that's awesome, dude. And this right here, I'm going to hang it over here on my charging station so I can keep it all nice and charged up. And uh, I've got a few other lights, too. I'm starting to get a good collection of lights now. I can actually see what the hell I'm doing out here. So thanks a lot, Ethan. Let's go on to the next one here. Let's see. Uh, Eugene. This is Eugene in New York, man. This guy sends me all kinds of stuff. Huge supporter of the channel. Awesome, dude. Let's see what we got here. Looks like fuses. Yeah, a whole assortment of fuses. That's awesome. These are not cheap for a whole pack like this. That's really cool, man. You know, uh, I usually rob these when I go to the pull aparts yards. <laughs> now I don't have to. That's very much appreciated, Eugene. Uh, I've seen his name a few other times in here too, so he hit us up more than once on this stack. And uh, he's a cool man. He's got a YouTube channel as well, uh, Eugene's Backyard Repair. Y'all guys go check it out, man. He's always working on a lot of, a lot of uh, like lawn equipment, you know, whether it be snow blowers, uh, lawn riding tractors, you name it, man, that he works on them. So go check him out. Tell him oh, uh, Wig Beard sent you. Uh, here we go, man. Somebody sent us the spray lube and I cheated on this one, y'all. I did, look, I, I've been using this one for a minute. I couldn't help myself. I, I opened it up, man, and, and there it was. I needed it, so I used it, so. Let's see, Weird Beard. My friends and I watch your show. I cringe when you hit a dry nut or bolt. Uh, this stuff makes them come off like butter. Spray it, shake it, spray it, wait 10 to 15 minutes. Good to go, but it smells horrible. <laughs> Great stuff though. You know, to be honest, I didn't I didn't really notice that bad of a smell, so I don't know. It's, uh, hard to wash the smell off your fingers, he says. But like I said, I didn't notice. It works so good, I could care less what it smells like, to be honest with you. That stuff really did work really good. So uh, you've been warned, laugh, laugh, laugh out loud. Ken, George, Dave, Houston, Texas. Man, you guys are awesome. Thanks for sending that to me. Like I said, I've been using it and it does work great. Let's grab another one here and see what we're doing. See if I took, took the liberty of opening this up. Like I said, it helps us save so much time when we're doing this. Uh, we've got an assortment of stuff here. Look at this. I know exactly what this is. This is uh, for the hood shocks. When you're uh, working on them old flip cars like we do, you, li you, know, you lift the hood up and it won't stay up on its own because the shocks have gone out, the struts, whatever you want to call them. And this fixes that man you get in there and you clamp that right onto the old strut and the hood stays up this will be very helpful i usually use vice grip so this will be nice uh let's see we got a service tool here uh oh hey man is this for oil filters i've never had one of these let's see here let's dig this guy out of here man i've never had one of these i've never even used one before but that is pretty neat check it out when you turn this right 
it tightens itself up onto the onto the oil filter so you can crank that bad boy right off of there i don't care how stuck it is i can't imagine it getting past this thing that's awesome man yeah i never had one of those before that's really cool i'm gonna give that a shot first chance i get i uh, got some more brake caliper hangers that's awesome let's see here we got ourselves a note weird beard i think it's great how you teach your kids and fans your abilities you're a very humble laid-back guy and very transparent much respect to you mike i've enclosed a few tools for you tim s tim s these tools will go, are definitely going to come in handy and they will see some use i promise you that i can't wait to try this guy out man you guys make me feel all fancy and stuff I won't even have to break the vice grips out no more that's crazy all right let's see what's in here oh i like the look of that Man, I love opening up a box full of tape. That's freaking awesome. Look at that. That's cool. We go through a lot of tape around here. What else we got? Microfibers. Yes, definitely go through a lot of microfibers. All these detail in these old flip cars, man. Let's see. Let's find us. Here we go. Here's just a note. Uh, congrats on your channel and hard work. Greetings from Brazil. That's awesome. Uh, enjoy your gift from Maximus. The Maximus Great. Okay, awesome. Cool name, actually. Yeah, anybody that's uh, been watching the channel for any amount of time knows we go through a lot of tape, microfibers, all that stuff, man. So that will be very useful and definitely get used. So thanks for that, Maximum Great. That's a cool ass name, dude, seriously. So here we go, let's see. Let's come on down here and get us another one. Oh, cool, that just has a tripod. That's awesome because the one I'm using is, uh, it's, it's going on on me. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. This is my tripod that I use, and look, it's just all flopping around. It, it This thing's a pain. It, it doesn't work like it's supposed to anymore. It's just junk, it's wore out. It's like most of my stuff. It's just seen way too much use. So let's see what we got here. Hey Mike, I really enjoy watching your videos. I would rather watch an honest guy get his hands dirty than to watch an insurance tool brag about. <laughs> I'm just going to stop there. Some of you guys know who he's talking about. Uh, whatever. Anyway, uh, enjoy the tripod from Woody. Woody Balto, man. Woody, you've been with me for a long time, dude. So I recognize that name. Thanks a lot, Woody. Oh, I can see my breath out here, man. It is freezing. All right, man. Let's go on down. Let's see what we got here. Look at this. Look at this. Man, when you're messing with flip cars, you can't get enough of these. Uh, these are the... All the clips, you guys, some of y'all know. Shoot, yeah, man. You get to mess around with these flip cars, you're always having to take bumpers and splash shields and stuff out of the way, or half the time you get these cars and all the clips are missing anyway. So these, these are awesome, dude. I, I use a ton of these, and uh, I've been getting by on a, on a supply that I've had left over for years from the body shop days, and uh, it's dwindling, so this is good timing. Uh, looky here, we got some zip ties, trim tool, and some plastic trim tools. These are nice so you don't mess up trim and interior pieces. So, very cool, man. Unfortunately, I don't see any kind of a, a name, a note, or anything. So, that sucks. Hey, whoever sent this, this is very useful for real. Thank you. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, rubber gloves. You guys are always getting on to me about not wearing gloves. And look, somebody sent me some. Two boxes of them. Check that out. That's, that's nice. It'll last me for a while. 200 gloves. Let's see. You needed these on the heavy half project. So here you are. Ready for the next time. Be well, Robert. Uh, I don't know if I want if you want me to say your last name. So I'll just say Robert J. Subscriber from Florida. I do appreciate that, Robert. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, dude, I did need these on that, uh, that heavy half. I think he's talking about when I was replacing those wheel bearings i was packing them barehanded yeah it gets a little messy well we're working our way down the stack let's see what we got here uh, alcohol prep yeah these are the little wipes man these come in handy for when you're trying to trying to uh stick trim pieces on you'll take one of these little wipes i used these in the body shop on daily every day there wasn't a day go by when you wasn't using some of these and uh they come in really handy anytime you're taking off trim and then you want to add new uh, tape to it. The, the sticky double-sided sticky tape, you always want to wipe the, the uh, part down with this stuff first. That will make it stick so much better. 
Yeah, anything like emblems, things like that. Anything that takes that double-sided sticky tape, if you will wipe the uh, surface down with one of these alcohol wipes first and then apply that double-sided sticky tape, dude, you will have way better results. Let's see, Mike, love the content and the builds. Keep up the good work and stick with it. P.S. Hope you enjoy the coffee from Nathan. Coffee? He must be talking about this coffee. The coffee that I already drank. <laughs> Sorry, man. You sending me coffee? That stuff's not hanging around until we do do a video on it. It's going to get drank up right quick. So thanks for that, Nathan. Let's see what do we got here? Uh, something from eBay. Okay. What? We wrap this one up. Didn't we? Look at that. Let's see what is it? Oh, that's just that's just packing. Let's see. Let me get this open. Oh, uh, let's see. How's this thing? Here we go. Here we go. Hey, another one. Ha <laughs> ha! Now I got two of them. Can't have too many tripods, and hey, you know what? I have two GoPros now, so I I need two tripods, so that's awesome. So this one didn't come with a note, but I know who this came from. This is Eugene from New York again. He sent me a message on Instagram asking me if I'd gotten this yet, and well, there you go, I got it. Now this one right here, uh, the box got damaged, so I had no choice but to go ahead and open it up and kind of ruin the surprise, but oh well, look at that. What a surprise. I'll tell you what, it doesn't matter what's inside of this bag. I'm excited. Just anything from Milwaukee's good. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got here. This is awesome. Pricey too. I can't believe some of the stuff you guys are sending me. Unreal. Uh, gloves. This is like a whole set. Look at this, a gloves, set of gloves. Uh, we got, looks like a drill, a little impact drill. Look at that. <laughs> that is, that is nice. Look at that. Then we got another one in here. Look, we're not done yet. There's two of these things in here. Okay, so this is the drill. And this is more like a, uh, like more of a, like a little impact type thing. Oh, man, this is nice. What else? What, okay, obviously we got some batteries. The charger. Look at that. Battery for each one of them. The charger. Man, this is nice. Came with a case. What more do you want, dude? This is great. Pop a battery in one of these. See what happens. Sweet. Got a light on the end of it. Look at that. This one does too. This one came with a note, man. Let's see who it is. Let's see. Hey, Mike, my wife and I were passing through and wanted to stop and meet you in person. Prepare to be disappointed, man. I'm, I'm way shorter in real life, y'all, man. He says, as I told Kayla, time to stop ratcheting and let the power tools do the work. And that's, yeah. Uh, he, for those of you who don't know, my daughter has a YouTube channel as well. And uh, we got a father-daughter project going on over there with her pickup truck. And Bill is a big supporter of her channel as well. And he sends her all kinds of stuff. And we do appreciate it. You guys are great. Bill and his family are awesome. They've been very supportive of our channels. And we do appreciate it. He said, love the videos and all your efforts to do the right thing. Best, with, best to you all in 2020. 2022 and right back at you and yours bill y'all are awesome so hey yeah one of these days a little meet and greet might be in order what do y'all say so let's go on man what do we got let's uh see what we got here there's a big old box we're getting to the big stuff now i'll tell you what these gloves showed up just in time i'm freezing out here man, what do we got where we got we got a, a box inside of a box and oh man <laughs> look at what just got sent to me y'all <laughs> There's a whole box of cookies, man. The good stuff. Grandma cookies. Look at all these cookies, y'all. Let's see. Enjoy your gift. Just thought you and your family might enjoy a few cookies. A few cookies? I really hope you and your family like chocolate chip cookies. And yeah, we do. I mean, who don't, right? Enjoy from Roger and Pierre, South Dakota. Roger, we love chocolate chip cookies, so these are definitely going to get ate up around here with a quickness. Makes me wish I hadn't drank up all my coffee. Oh yeah, this is from Eugene as well. Uh, it doesn't have a note, but I know it because he sent me a message asking if I'd gotten them yet. He, uh, he, he likes to double check, make sure the stuff showed up in the mail because the mail is weird anymore, I swear. Uh, what these are, let's see if I can get one out of here. Uh, we're gonna put these on like a little Dremel, something like that. I guess you could put them on a drill if you wanted to. But look, they're just little tiny little brass brushes. I'm gonna put them on my Dremel. And uh, this will come in handy for cleaning out my uh, carburetors anytime I'm doing a carburetor or just anything for that matter, but it worked great on a carburetor. 
And uh, he saw how dirty the bowls were on this old Fury when we had uh, did the carburetor rebuild. And the first thing he thought of was send me some of these. So yeah, man, that's that would definitely be a good use for those. And that's something that I'll use them for on my next carburetor build, that's for sure. So thank you, Eugene. <laughs> this guy's on a roll. Eugene again, y'all. Let's see, what he's what he sent me this time, man. He sent me all kinds of stuff this week. Uh heat shrink. Yes, 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 yes. I use a ton of heat shrink. Man, it's got all the good sizes. All right. Man, this guy's hooking me up, man. We got uh fuses, uh little brushes for the Dremel. Those are gonna come in super handy. And now heat shrink? God, what else? So yeah, tripod. I mean, this guy's thinking of everything. So here we go, man. What are we doing here? Let's see if I can get this out of here one-handed. Doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. There we go. Nice. Uh, a little vacuum, like cut off the ports, you know, if you if you need a, if you got uh, like a vacuum leak or anything like that, it's any kind of a port that needs plug-in, man. It's got all the sizes and guess who this came from? <laughs> you guessed it. Oh, Eugene, man. I told you, he was busy. Let's open up this next one here. It feels kind of heavy and like it's got all kinds of stuff in it. Let's see here. Yeah, man, it's got, let's just dump it out here. It's got all kinds of good stuff. Look at that. Uh, battery cable, some ends. Yeah, always needing stuff like that. Some more battery cable ends. A whole assortment of them here. Nice. Uh, let's see, what is this? A safety cutter. Okay. Oh, yeah, like a little razor blade in there. Nice. All right. Yeah, see, stuff like that. Definitely very useful. Nice. Maybe I should get this out and use it to open these boxes up next time. Not finding the note anywhere. I don't know. Whoever sent all that stuff, man, that, that's very nice. And uh, man, I can't have enough battery cable ends and all that kind of stuff around here. I mean, that's just kind of how most shops are, right? Well, whoever sent that, thank you kindly. Uh, let's go on to the next one here. What do we got? Oh, these are the magnetic trays. Nice. So you guys are cool. Y'all buy me all this fancy stuff that I just don't, I don't ever buy stuff like this for myself. I will just use a, an old antifreeze jug that's been laid on its side with the top cut out, you know, stuff like that. And uh, now I got cool stuff. I mean, this, this will look a lot better on YouTube, right? Than the old antifreeze jug. So that's nice. Appreciate that. Let's see. Got a, looks like we got a note in here. All right. Uh, hi, Mike. Loving the content. I look forward to watching the projects progress. Have a, a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year from JC in Arizona. JC, things are shaping up, man. I promise you that. And a lot of it's thanks to you guys. Y'all have been really, really great. Watching the videos, helping the channel grow, uh, sending cool stuff. And I, I can't thank y'all enough. And this is this has progressed <laughs> past my wildest dreams already. And it, I'm, I'm blown away by it, man. You know, when I first started this channel, the idea of getting free stuff was always thinking like, man, it'd be cool if like a sponsor or, you know, a company, a corporation, whatever would send me something free. That would be really awesome, right? That's kind of the goal of every YouTuber, you know, is to get free stuff from sponsors. I never, ever thought I would get a bunch of free stuff all the time sent to me by the viewers. You guys are amazing. Uh, I like I, I swear man I just never thought it I just never imagined it you know every once in a while I'll reach out to a company to see if they want to donate supplies and things like that uh, I've done that in the past and and uh, had some pretty decent luck with it and uh, lately man, they are stingy dude they don't want to get nothing away right now so to have the viewers kick in and help out with stuff is awesome man I did not bargain for this I just didn't think this was going to be a thing and it's really cool so what do we got here let's see Hey, speaking of the double-sided sticky tape, there we go. See, this stuff right here, see, it even comes with an alcohol pad in it. Uh, if you'll use those alcohol pads, like I said earlier, when you're, when you're messing with this stuff, you'll have way better luck with it. In case you've ever used this stuff in the past and you couldn't get it to uh, stick well, and you were kind of wondering why, well, maybe, that, maybe you just needed to use some alcohol strips. I don't know. Uh, let's see. I see two little things in here. Oh, here we go. Hey, it's the same guy, Nathan. Yeah, see, he thought of everything. <laughs> this, this, this is the guy that sent the, the alcohol pads. Awesome. He knows. He gets it. Got a whole pack of stuff here. What are these? 
Gas off. New gas off. These are wipes. Awesome. These are, uh, this, this right here has 15 wipes inside of it. And look how many of them they sent me. Oh my God, I'm set. That's awesome. So it says here, these, these remove gas from hands, clothes, equipment, and more. If they'll remove gas, then they, they ought to be pretty dang good. It says they have a fresh linen scent. So you gotta like that. <laughs> Far better than gas, right? So this was another one from Eugene, y'all. That guy's awesome. We got this one here. This is a metal cutting blade. I've never used one of these before. Let's open this bad boy up. I want to take a look at it here. Yeah, look at that. Got a metal cutting blade. Also from Eugene. We'll put this right on my angle grinder. Let's see. A thousand plus cuts. 30 times longer wheel life. Well, damn. I'm sold. You had me at a thousand cuts. Might give that old blade a whirl when it comes time to put some exhaust on this old girl. Uh, we're going to do some custom exhaust, uh, lots of cutting, and uh, we'll put that old blade through the paces, see what it's made of. So here we go. We're getting down there almost to the last one. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. <laughs> That's a lot of double-sided sticky tape. I think I'm set on sticky tape for a little bit, y'all. That's awesome. Let's see. Uh, find me a note here. Uh, let's see. Enjoy your gift from Cassandra Wade. <laughs> Indeed I will, Cassandra. You're going to get me by on a lot of projects with all this. And we got a whole box of the alcohol pads, which should get us through all of this. Thanks to old Nathan. So, man, you guys are working in teams now. Got a couple of letters came in the mail. That's awesome. Let's see here. All right, a Christmas card, cool. I'm a little late on the video, y'all, but yeah, this did come around Christmas. And it's got a $20 bill in it. That, y'all, that's awesome, man. Y'all, that just reminded me of my grandma. She passed away a while back, and uh, she, she always sent me a $20 bill every, every uh, birthday, <laughs> uh, all the way well into adulthood. And it was just the coolest thing ever. I always knew she was going to do it, and she, she never let me down. She always did. So uh, this just brought back memories of that. And uh, let's see. It says, uh, love your channel and your hard work. Wishing you all the best for 2022. From Florida, Dominique. Dominique, you're awesome, man. You brought back some good memories with that. I do appreciate it. Got another letter came in the mail. We'll cover up the old boy's address, obviously. Let's see what we got going on in here. Let's see. Let's see, Mike, I have a, I have several questions. Uh, when are you going to get back on the 59? All right, I got you. Um, hey, fair enough. Uh, you guys followed along on that build. We made a bazillion videos on it. And uh, we got it painted, obviously. You guys seen all of that. And we're, we're down to just final uh, putting it back together. And uh, well, I'll get you all a video put together on that uh, before too long. Maybe after it starts to warm up just a little bit. Uh, I do want to get that car done and out of my way. It's it's holding up the shop space and all of that. And and so, yeah, I will be getting on that before too long. Uh, let's see, what happened to the Saturn? Uh, the Saturn's still hanging around. I've been just kind of driving it around little by little. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Uh, I thought about just running it back through the auction to see what we can get for it. Auction prices are ridiculous right now, so maybe we can get some good money for it. Uh, some of y'all are telling me I need to retail it through the lot. That, that, that'd be fine, too. I don't know. We'll see. We're figuring out. I'm just using it for right now. That's all. Uh, I would be happy if you would email me. Uh, I'm not going to say his email address. Uh, that's fine. I can email you. Uh, the only thing I do on the Internet is YouTube and a little email. Well, I don't blame you. That's about all I do on the YouTubes as well. Uh, let's. Oh, there's something else in here. Oh, Sam just sent me a check for a hundred bucks, y'all. That is friggin' awesome. Thank you, Sam. Uh, you just paid for the bed liner spray on the roof. Uh, that is great. So yeah, like I said, the support has been overwhelming and that is a perfect example of it. You guys are great. I do appreciate it. Uh, we're down to the last box. When I seen this, I almost flipped my wig, y'all. Uh, <laughs> this, you're not gonna believe it. This is for the Fury. I did go ahead and open it and check it out. Somebody sent a molded carpet pad for the Fury. Look at this, y'all. 
the original green carpet. You remember how we were talking about how pretty that carpet looked when we pulled out from underneath the moldings where it still looked like brand new? Well, here we are, man. Somebody sent this to us. This is a two-piece setup, front and back. There's the back piece there. Here's the front piece. This is all molded to go right in to the uh, the carpet, to the, to the floorboard. Well, yeah, so we ain't got to do all that weird stuff to get it to fit in. This is great, man. I'm very excited about this. I cannot believe somebody sent this to us. Uh, that's not cheap. I know it's not. And uh, I wasn't even going to put carpet in this yet. I was just going to do bed liner spray on the floor and just rock that for a little while. And look at this. Now we've got carpet, man. This is awesome. Very motivating. I cannot wait to get back in here. I am so anxious to get back on this car and, and just start tying it up, man, and get it out on the road, uh, especially with all of you guys helping out. I can't go wrong. So there you have it, folks, man. I, I just had to get something out there to let you guys know everything uh, that's going on and why we haven't gotten a video out lately. I know it's been, uh, it's been uh, what, like a good five days. I do apologize. The weather is just not a cooperating. I'm going to tear into that heater, see if we can't figure out something with that thing. I don't know what's going on with it. Maybe we just need to blow it out. I don't know. We'll figure it out, see what's going on with that. Last time this happened, I had to replace the uh, main breaker out on the pole. Kind of pricey. Hopefully that's not the case this time. It's brand new, man. We just did that last summer, so I don't know. Anyway, uh, we'll get back on that. I do appreciate everybody watching. I appreciate all the support. I can't believe the stuff you guys send. Money, supplies, you guys name it. You got, It's great. It's awesome. Uh, I'm going to get on out here. Please uh, don't forget my Instagram uh, and Facebook, Weird Beard on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, you can go on there and get uh, notifications when I put videos out just in case YouTube don't let you know. And uh, So anyway, I'm going to get on out here, you guys.